President, please be seated. President, please be seated. The floor is now given to the different teams. But first, I would like to know whether Mr. Kope have further questions to put to this witness. If you do not have, now you have the floor, counsel for Mr. Kiersenpon. Thank you, President. Bonjour à tous. Bonjour, Madame Kinvat. Je présente d'abord. Je m'appelle Antaguissé. Je suis co-avocat international de Monsieur Kessampan. Et c'est à ce titre que je vais vous poser quelques courtes questions de, de précision sur votre déposition. Un premier point, parce que dans la traduction française, ça n'était vraiment pas clair. Vous avez indiqué que lorsque vous vous êtes marié, euh, avec votre mari, vous avez passé une semaine à Kampongchnan. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez à quelle date euh, a eu lieu votre mariage in 1977. I cannot recall the month. Perhaps it, it, is, it was in late 1977. Précisément, vous avez indiqué que vous avez été réaffecté à Kampongchnan à peu près en fin 77. Donc en prenant comme repère le moment où vous avez été affecté à à Kampongchnan dans euh, les rizières. Est-ce que vous pouvez vous donner au moins une fourchette, savoir est-ce que c'était euh, un mois, deux mois ou trois mois avant que vous vous êtes marié ou euh, une autre indication de temps Est-ce que ça peut vous aider à, à vous resituer dans le temps Si vous ne vous en souvenez pas, je ne veux pas vous, vous mettre en difficulté. C'est simplement, comme vous avez indiqué que euh, vous avez été affecté après, est-ce que vous avez une, une indication de temps hein, ou pas Si vous ne vous en souvenez pas, n'hésitez pas à dire que vous ne vous en souvenez pas. Hein, je... Answer. I do not recall it. Réponse, je ne m'en souviens pas. Pas de souci. En revanche, sur un point particulier, vous avez indiqué que vous avez passé, donc, après votre mariage, une semaine avec votre mari. Est-ce que vous avez travaillé pendant cette semaine euh, en cuisine, pendant que vous passiez du temps avec votre mari I was with uh, my husband in the kitchen. I was a cook at a Bontier Chansari. And my husband would come to spend time with me at night time for that seven days. Pendant ces huit jours, ces sept jours. Merci de cette précision. Vous avez indiqué euh, avoir travaillé euh, ensuite donc, euh, 
euh, dans des rizières qui you se trouvaient à peu près à un kilomètre de euh, l'aéroport de euh, Camp Pontschmein. Et vous avez indiqué que vous avez travaillé avec euh, des femmes soldats venant de la zone est. Ma question est de savoir si vous aviez une fonction particulière au sein de l'unité dans laquelle vous avez travaillé dans les rizières. On m'avait donné l'instruction de m'occuper des femmes de soldats. Ces femmes avaient des enfants et des bébés avec elles. Going to find and collect cotton kites to make fertilizers. Trouver ou collecter les éléments nécessaires pour faire ensuite de l'engrais. Et ça, ça s'est passé dès votre arrivée à l'aéroport, enfin dans la rizière à côté de l'aéroport de Campanchmal. C'est dès votre affectation que vous avez effectué ce travail. Answer. Réponse. Immediately after I arrived at Kampong Chnang, I rested. Je me suis reposé. At my location near the Tiet Pagoda. One day after there was a meeting. Une réunion a été organisée. To me to be in charge of uh, the Et old ladies within the second force of force number two. I was the one who led the group uh, making fertilizer. Qui conduisait le groupe pour aller faire des engrais. Est-ce que ça veut dire que euh, vous aviez une, autor une autorité hiérarchique sur ces femmes? Does this mean that you had some command authority on these women? Answer. Back then, I received plan or instructions from my chief. He was male. He instructed me to lead the workforce to make fertilizers. So I was in charge of the married women. I mean uh, the uh, wives of uh, the soldier making fertilizers. Des soldats pour faire de Un autre point euh, maintenant, est-ce que vous vous souvenez Another si point, au like cours de euh, l'année 77, où vous, vous travaillez dans les rizières, si euh, des soldats ont été euh, des soldats euh, de la division 502 ou d'autres divisions si vous en avez connaissance, euh, si des soldats ont été envoyés euh, pour lutter contre les troupes vietnamiennes Est-ce que vous vous souvenez de cela Answer. At that time, I did not know whether they were sent to fight against the Vietnamese. What I know is that they were working with the Chinese at the airport or work site. I do not know whether they were sent to fight against the Vietnamese. Vous, euh, vous avez indiqué que euh, vous, enfin, vous l'avez dit à plusieurs reprises que vous êtes euh, 
rester assez brièvement sur, euh, euh, à travailler dans les rizières à côté de l'aéroport de Kampongchnang. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez à peu près combien de temps J'ai cru dans mes notes noter six mois, mais je ne suis pas sûr. je voudrais que vous précisiez. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez à peu près combien de mois vous êtes resté à cette affectation Answer. Réponse. What I can recall is that I was sowing uh, the seeds in the field at that time, and uh, the rice was not yet harvested. And I can recall that uh, at that time I fled the area. Qu'à l'époque, j'étais partie de cet endroit. Je comprends de votre réponse que vous êtes parti avant la récolte du riz, c'est ça Answer, I understand that you left before the rice was harvested. Is that the case Answer, yes, that is what I said. Oui, c'est ce que j'ai dit. Et est-ce que vous pouvez indiquer euh, à peu près, en général, en, en, en quel mois on récolte le riz Generally speaking, uh, during which month of the year is the rice usually harvested? The harvest took place mostly in the December. La récolte a lieu essentiellement en décembre. Vous euh, avez évoqué, euh, et mon confrère euh, ce matin l'a rappelé, un cas de suicide qui vous a euh, été rapporté par euh, un chauffeur, avez-vous dit hier. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez du nom du chauffeur qui vous a rapporté euh, cet incident Answer. No. I do not remember. During the resting time, uh, the drivers were chit-chatting about that matter, and uh, I did not try to find out what happened or the names of that uh, person. I heard that they were discussing about the matter. J'en viens maintenant à ce que vous avez indiqué hier hein, sur euh, like une visite de Kyosampan. Vous avez mentionné que vous-même, personnellement, vous ne l'avez pas vu, mais que c'est un ami ou une amie euh, qui vous en a parlé. Alors, est-ce que vous pouvez préciser le nom de cette personne et préciser également si c'est un homme ou une femme Answer. He was a man. Réponse. C'était un homme. His name was Sukun. Son nom était Sukun. He was working with the Chinese. Uh, Il travaillait at uh, the place where the road was being built. He told me about that matter. C'est lui qui m'a rapporté cela. Et est-ce que vous savez quel type de travail il effectuait? Do you remember what his job was? Answer. He was part of division 502. Réponse, il He was de la division 502. accompanying the Chinese technicians measuring the il land. Les techniciens chinois qui mesuraient le sol. Et je sais que ça remonte à Bien longtemps, mais est-ce que vous vous souvenez ah, exactement les mots qu'il a utilisés pour euh, évoquer euh, la visite de euh, Kusampan
Answer. I cannot recall it. Réponse, je ne m'en souviens pas. Later on, Plus tard, I knew that j'ai appris the soldiers who were working at the site were allowed to watch a film at night. Sur le site avaient le droit de regarder un film le soir. And uh, soldiers who were working at that place were also allowed to have a resting time on Sunday. We were told that uh, in the next uh, few years uh, we our life conditions uh, would be better. I could recall that at one time at night, I could go and watch a film at uh, the five-story house. Est-ce que um, vous savez qui était pendant cette période le chef d'état-major du Kampuchea démocratique. En gros, le commandant en chef de l'armée. Est-ce que vous savez, vous savez qui c'était Je l'ignore. Commander, I do not know the uh, senior ranking people. Je ne connaissais pas les gens au grade. Est-ce que le nom de Son Sen vous dit quelque chose? Son Sen, does that ring a bell? Ja, nyom luit mokot dai. Answer, I have heard of Réponse. his name. J'ai entendu son nom. However. I did not know his face Mais je ne le pas. at that time, and uh, I je did not know his visage. position and duty as well at that time. Et est-ce que vous savez um, quel était son alias révolutionnaire? Do you remember or do you know what his uh, revolutionary name was? Answer no. Réponse non. Et est-ce que vous savez quel était euh, l'alias révolutionnaire hein, de Kyo Sampan? And do you know what Kyo Sampan's revolutionary name was? Yeah, you know. Answer, no, I cannot recall it. I do not know his alias name. Hier, vous avez indiqué qu'une personne vous aurait euh, euh, précisé que on appelait euh, que son pan oncle numéro 2. Est-ce que euh, vous avez entendu un autre nom que ce oncle numéro 2 de la part de euh, cette personne qui vous a mentionné ce point And call number two, that is all what I know. I know nothing else. Je vous remercie, madame. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions, monsieur le président. Mon confrère Kongsamon a une question de suivi. Monsieur le président, par contre, mon collègue, a des questions de suivi. Monsieur le président, vous avez le floor now, Council Kongsamon. Council Kongsamon. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Good, uh, good morning, rather. Good morning, uh, Madame Witness. Et bonjour à vous, Madame le témoin. What I have 
short questions in relation to the time when you were working in the rice field at Kampung Chenang website. You stated that you got married in 1977, and you also stated that you did not recall the month. You mentioned as well that you were working in the rice field near Kampung Chenang Airport less than six months. Pendant une période de moins de six mois. Can you tell the court? Your Honours, I, I don't recall the witness saying that she worked there for less than six months, and I would appreciate a reference. I know uh, Madame Guisset represented that that was in her notes, but I'm, I'm not aware of the witness having said that. We know that Madame Guisset said that it was in her notes, but I don't recall the witness saying that it was in her notes, but I'm not aware of the witness having said that. We know that Madame Guisset said that it was in her notes, Someone. Mr. President, I, I can look into my notes. I took note yesterday what he said. From my recollection, a witness said that he, she was working in the rice field at Kampung Chenang worldside for less than six months. So perhaps I can ask the witness to clarify the matter. Question, could you tell the court? It is in the transcript, uh, in English transcript, six months. Dans la transcription en anglais, il est écrit six mois. Could you give us a page number for that? Accusation, pourriez-vous nous donner un numéro de page? Avec, euh, excusez-moi, avec l'aide efficace de mon équipe, hein, c'est un petit peu avant 15h37 hier. It's before uh, 15 hours 37 minutes yesterday, thanks to my team's efficiency. Council Kungsamon, may I resume my line of questioning, Mr. President? Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to go back to the last question I put to you a while ago. You already stated that you left Kampung Chenang work site by military when the Vietnamese came in the country. Could you tell the court when it was, whether it was in late 1977 or late 1978? Answer. Yes. It is true that I pled uh, Kampung Chenang oui, worksite. I recall that I pled that worksite in 1979. Site en 1979. Council, thank you. Concerning the timeline, you stated particularly in relation to the time when you were working in the rice field, you stated that immediately after you arrived at Kampung Chenang, you saw uh, the seeds and uh, the harvest uh, was not yet uh, done at that time when you left the country. What kind of rice uh, were you uh, doing? Uh, were you farmed? Answer. It was called uh, the rice uh, for the rainy season, season and it, has, it lasted for six months to get the yield for the harvest. Council, thank you. So, is it correct to say that you went to Kampung Chenang in mid-1978? Answer. It is 
about right I may have forgotten the year Council Thank you, Madame Wynne. Je vous remercie, Madame le témoin. J'en ai terminé, Monsieur le Président. 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 The hearing of your testimony is now concluded. Thank you very much, Madame le témoin. Votre déposition Thank you touche for à présent time à sa fin. La Chambre vous remercie d'avoir accordé, de lui avoir accordé votre temps pour morning. comparaître Your hier et aujourd'hui. Votre témoignage contribuera à truth. la justice et à la manifestation de la vérité. Vous pouvez go à présent vous retirer any place you would like to go. et vous I rendre wish you Là où Good vous vous semble, nous vous souhaitons trip. bonne continuation et bon voyage Court de retour. Officers, Monsieur d'audience, en consultation avec les députés, experts, veuillez prendre les dispositions his, uh, nécessaires pour le bon retour to her preferred destination, correct interpreter. Now, the chamber à présent, la Chambre to va hear. continuer. 2 TCW 926 concerning TCW the 1st January 926, dam. Aussi juillet, and the Chamber would like to inform the parties that informer, ou souhaite plutôt informer les parties if we cannot conclude que s'il n'est pas possible to hear 2 TCW 926, the Chamber will summon this uh, witness to come back and testify at a later stage. Court officer, please usher to TCW 926 into the courtroom. Monsieur le témoin, bonjour. Quel est votre nom Witness, my name is Om Chi. Je me nomme Om Chi. President, thank you. Président, je vous remercie. Mr. Om Chi. Monsieur Om Chi. And when were you born? Quelle est votre date de naissance? Uh, Mr. Witness, please Monsieur observe témoin, the microphone. That is, when you see the red light on the tip of the microphone, then you can begin speaking. Allumé, le moment pour vous de parler. Witness, I was born in 1952. Réponse, en 1952. Question, and when were you born? President, again, President, Mr. Uh, Witness, Monsieur please témoin, uh, wait a moment before moment you speak. Avant de parler, que le microphone soit allumé. And that would give uh, a little bit of a time for the court uh, to interpret your statement into two other official languages Cela so that all parties can hear your testimony in the official languages of the court. Les parties puissent entendre ce que vous avez à dire. Witness, Témoin. I was born at Chemongkul village, Balang district, dans le village de Barai, commune de Balang, district de Bahai, Balang commune, Barai district, Kampong Thum province. province Question, and where is your current address? Question. Quelle est votre adresse actuelle 
Answer. Réponse. I live at Yeting village, Balang commune, Bara district, Kampong Trung province. Question. What are the names of your mother and father? Answer. My Réponse. father is Ung Chun and my Ung mother Chun. is Bun Sun. Ma mère, and my wife's Sun. name is Hun Ma Wood. We have Hen six children. Wood. Nous avons six enfants. President, President, thank you. And Mr. Umchi, to Monsieur your best knowledge and ability, are you related by blood or by law through any of the two accused that is known to be born or through any of the civil parties admitted in case 002? Answer. No. I am not related to any of the two accused or to any of the civil parties. Question. Have you taken an oath before the Iron Club said to this morning before your appearance? Answer. Yes, I have. President, thank you. President. The Chamber now informs you of your right and obligation. As a witness before the proceedings in this court, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any comment which you think could incriminate you. That is your right against self-incrimination. And on your obligation as a witness, you must respond to all questions put to you by the bench by relevant parties, except where you think your responses or comments would incriminate you, as I have just stated. And as a witness, you must tell the truth that you have known her, remember, or experience, or observe directly. That is in relation to any event uh, rest in the questions put to you by the bench or by the concerned parties. And Mr. Umchi, have you been interviewed by investigators of the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges? If so, how many times, when and where? Answer. In 2009, the ECCC officers came to interview me in Balang Commune, Barai District, Kapuntum Province, at 10 o'clock in the morning. President, thank you. And before you appear before us, have you read re or reviewed your written record of your statement of the interviews that you gave to the OCIG investigators in order to refresh your memory? And so, yes, I uh, read uh, part of it. Réponse. However, I oui. don't remember everything as uh, partie, the events took place tout, about 40 years ago. Question. You Question. said that you read uh, parts of your written record of your statement. And can you tell the chamber whether the written record of your statement si is consistent with what you told the OCIJ investigators at your place of residence in 2009? Answer. Réponse. I uh, read the written record of a statement. J'ai lu le procès verbal d'audition concerning the accused and the victims 
However, it is not 100% clear to me. I can remember parts of the statement, but not everything. President, what I want to ask you is that uh, whether the, that written record is consistent with the statements you provided to the investigators at your place of residence in Kampontum province in 2009. And so the written record that I've read is consistent to the statement I provided to the ECCC officers. President, thank you. Pursuant to Rule 91, based on the ECCC internal rules, the Chamber gives the floor first to the co-prosecutors before other parties, and the combined time for the co-prosecutors and the co-lawyers for civil parties are two sessions. And if possible, please try to reduce your time if there is the case, then we might be able to conclude the testimony of this civil party today. This witness is uh, rather busy with his uh, business. Thank you. National Deputy Co Prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Mr. President, Jonas, and everyone. And good morning, Mr. Witness. My name is Seng Lien. I'm a National Deputy Co Prosecutor. I have some questions that I'd like to put to you. And my first question to you is the following. When were you appointed uh, to build the canals that linked the first century uh, dam? When were you appointed I was assigned to build the that uh, canal which connected uh, to the first century dam in 1978. Question, and do you recall the month of the year? President interrupts, and Mr. Um G, uh, please wait uh, for the microphone to be operational. Mr. Um Chi, veuillez attendre la lumière du micro. Witness. It uh, occurred in February of the year. Question. Question. And what was your position at the time? Et quelle était votre fonction à l'époque? Answer. Réponse. I was appointed as a mobile unit chief. J'ai été nommé chef d'une unité itinérante. Question. And how many? Question. Workers were under your supervision. Et vous aviez combien de travailleurs sous votre supervision? At that time, and so at that time, they gathered the people to build the canal. They collected uh, workers from all the villages in the commune, and the total number was 500. Question, upon your arrival at the work site, was the first century dam fully built? Answer. Yes, it was completed. Oui. Il était terminé. Question. Question. Was the canal that you had to build a part of the first new dam project, or was it in a separate project? Du projet du du 1er janvier ou d'un autre projet? Answer. Réponse. The dam actually connected from the first January dam. Ce canal était en effet Answer. relié au barrage and du 1er janvier. Can you give uh, the court an estimate Question. as to how many workers were working on this uh, link? Évaluer à peu près dam. le nombre de travailleurs qui travaillaient sur ce projet, à savoir un Answer. relier les deux barrages. Réponse. The 
Then project it belongs to the sector, and there were between five to six thousand workers. Il y avait entre cinq et six mille travailleurs. Question: Can you please uh, identify the location of that Question. canal? Où se trouvait ce canal? President, uh, Mr. Witness, please observe the microphone. Le président, Monsieur le témoin, veuillez observer l'allumage du micro. Witness. Le témoin. The canal location was at the uh, border of Chongdong and le Barang Balang communes. Canal se trouvait entre les communes communes de Chongdong et uh, de Suggested uh, there were between five to six thousand workers who work on this connecting uh, dam. Did those workers volunteer to work there, or were they instructed to go and work there? Travailler sur ce canal. Answer. Question. Attends. Envoyer ces travailleurs. Nobody actually volunteered to go there. However, during the regime, everyone was forced, and we were forced to go and work there at the work site. President Councilor Copper, do you have the floor? Thank you, Mr. President. I don't have an objection to this particular question. I would like to raise a jurisdictional point, or rather a question of scope. Obviously, the witness has not been working on the 1st January dam. According to the closing order, the 1st January dam was finished by the time the 6th January dam was built. Although it seems that the site was connecting uh, was connected to the 1st January dam. It does seem a separate project, uh, certainly from a temporal perspective. Um, so the question arises whether this testimony does in fact fall within the scope uh, of this particular segment. Um, we believe procès. it's not. À notre avis, ce n'est pas le cas. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président, euh, Mesdames et Messieurs les Juges, bonjour à tout le monde. Good morning, Mr. Dans la President, salle d'audience, euh, l'objection ne me paraît pas justifiée. Et si l'on prend par exemple le paragraphe 352 de l'ordonnance de clôture, il est bien expliqué qu'il y avait un ensemble de canaux qui a été creusé pour faire venir l'eau du barrage jusqu'aux rizières. Et on parle d'un canal principal, je crois qu'ici on parle également du canal principal qui va vers le sud. Donc c'est un ensemble qu'il faut considérer faisant partie de euh, ce site de construction du, du, du barrage du 1er janvier. Il y a également le barrage du 6 janvier, mais il y a tous ces canaux. Et sans ces canaux, ces barrages n'auraient servi à rien, puisque le but, on nous a dit, c'était euh, d'alimenter en eau les rizières environnantes. Donc je crois qu'il faut considérer que le témoignage de ces témoins est pertinent et rentre bien dans le champ du procès et de l'ordonnance de l'ordre. Monsieur le Président, si je peux me permettre d'intervenir, simplement, euh, j'entends Monsieur le coprocureur indiquer euh, qu'il semble que euh, l'on parle d'un canal du Sud. Euh, peut-être que, euh, avant que vous preniez votre décision sur la question, il faudrait peut-être que euh, Monsieur le Co-Procureur pose des questions préliminaires pour déterminer géographiquement de quoi on parle, pour savoir exactement si effectivement c'était rattaché au barrage du 1er janvier ou pas. C'est des questions qui doivent être posées en préliminaire euh, aux témoins et non pas une assertion de l'accusation, simplement. Juste sur ce point, Monsieur le Président, euh, le témoin vient de dire que là où il travaillait sur le canal, c'était entre les communes de Chandong et Barai. Si on regarde un plan de l'époque, on voit bien que cela se situe exactement au sud du barrage de Saint-Jean.
President, the objection by the Defense Council is overruled. This fact is related to the first January Dam website and it is part of the closing order as indicated by the Deputy International Co Prosecutor. Deputy Co Prosecutor, you may continue. Deputy Co Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. And Mr. Witness, you stated that there were about about five to six thousand workers working on this uh, connecting dam to the first century dam. Did they all volunteer to go there or they were obligated to go there and work? They were required to go and work there. No worker volunteered, and it was imperative for them to follow instructions. Question: Did they dare not uh, refuse, or did they not want to refuse? President, uh, witness, please hold on, and Council Copper, uh, you may proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I should have objected to the earlier question um, because the witness cannot possibly say anything about the state of mind of all 5,000 workers. Sure, sure, surely he can for himself and his, um, the workers that were close to him, but not for all 5,000. Bah. President, the objection by the Defense Council for Nuji is sustained, and this matter happens rather repeatedly, and for that reason, the co prosecutor is reminded to put question within the scope of the knowledge of the witness or the facts being debated before this court and not to put the questions that would uh, elicit uh, an assumption from the witness. You should make your questions precise and specific within the scope of knowledge of the witness. And the witness has been demanded of his uh, obligations and rights before this court. Deputy co-prosecutor. I uh, refresh my question to the scope of the knowledge of the witness. And Mr. Witness, within your unit which comprises 500 workers, were they, did they mostly volunteer to work or were they forced to go and work there? Answer Réponse. to my observation throughout the small units. Nobody uh, volunteered to go to work uh, or to engage in this kind of uh, hard work. Voulu faire ce travail, uh, Question. Volontairement. If that is the Question. case, why did they not refuse cas, uh, to work? Did they dare not or did they not want to refuse? Parce qu'ils n'osaient pas ou parce qu'ils ne voulaient pas refuser. Answer. Réponse. During the regime, Every worker, Pendant including myself, régime, did not dare refuse. We had to adhere to the uh, work plan. De le plan de Question. Question. And why was it so, including yourself? Et pourquoi, Can you give the court the reason? Vous dites que c'était vrai aussi pour vous. Pouvez-vous nous expliquer pourquoi? Answer. During the regime, and uh, le régime, Mr. Co President, you may as well know throughout the country, and not only about the relocation uh, that I was engaged in, pays, everybody had to adhere to the principles, Chacun otherwise, they would be accused of opposing their society. Accusé, uh, de nous opposer à leur 
question. So, if you were considered to oppose uh, their society, si what would happen? And si on que vous vous opposiez à leur société, quelles en seraient les conséquences? And Réponse. it means that you put yourself in a risky situation, and that Cela you will be detained uh, to be risques, sent for re-education uh, at the detention center or at uh, uh, the commune office. Pour une réeducation ou alors uh, envoyé au bureau de la commune. Question. Could you please Question. tell the court during the time that uh, your group members were beating the dam, vous et les membres de votre groupe construisiez le barrage, they reside at the work site with their family members. Est-ce qu'ils habitaient uh, au site de travail avec des membres de leur famille? And uh, Réponse. During the building of the uh, dam, la construction du barrage, all the workers uh, in my unit were unmarried. Au sein de mon unité étaient des célibataires. Question. Question. Where did they stay? Et did they où habitaient-ils? Stay with their family members. Est-ce qu'ils habitaient dans leur famille? Answer. Réponse. They built a shelter along the uh, dam embankment, and they had to the stay there. They would not allow to uh, visit vivre, home, voilà, except uh, when there was a resting day. Sauf en cas de jour de repos. Uh, question. Besides the resting question. day, as you put it, autre ces jours de repos que vous could mentionnez. Those workers seek permission to visit the home. Est-ce que les l'autorisation d'aller chez eux? Answer. Réponse. If it was out of necessity or urgency, en namely, uh, their child or their wife was sick, then they could exemple, seek their si permission. Otherwise, uh, they could not. Leur, uh, un enfant ou uh, leur femme était malade, ils pouvaient demander cette Question. If there was Sinon, no such uh, an urgent matter, Question. but uh, a worker missed uh, their family members. Could they seek permission? Uh, President interrupts. This is a kind of question that the chamber uh, prohibits. So, Mr. Witness, you do not need to respond to this question. Chambre, yes, it tries to elicit uh, your answer in a hypothetical way. À, uh, Question. Did any workers from your group uh, rent to visit his or her house unité. without the authorization? Pour aller chez eux sans autorisation? Answer yes. There were such Réponse. cases as yes, some Jews oui. ran away uh, to cas, visit their house, uh, and later on the the unit chiefs would go and uh, get them back uh, through the website. Question. Was any sanction or punishment imposed on those Et workers who ran to visit their home without authorization? Uh, Il revenait après s'être enfui pour aller chez eux sans autorisation. And uh, the relevant universities did not impose any sanction, but uh, those workers were reprimanded and allowed to return to work. Les travailleurs étaient réprimandés et puis autorisés Question. à retourner au travail. Did uh, the workers in your unit uh, actually strictly adhere to the regulations and the discipline. Respecter fidèlement les uh, uh, règles. Answer. There were many workers in my unit, and not everyone could uh, strictly adhere to the Tout regulations. Ne respectait pas entièrement there were about 20 to 30 percent of them who actually could not follow the uh, regulations and they had to be advised. Et ils devaient en être avisés. 
question and line up to move on question. to the working hours. Please uh, try to call the, how the working hours were arranged within your unit. Quels étaient les horaires de travail dans votre unité? Answer. The Réponse. working hours started from 4 o'clock in Le the morning, continued until 11 a.m. when we stopped for meal. Nous nous and pour manger. within this hour, we had a 15 minute Pendant break between heure, 9 to 10 a.m. Pendant ces horaires, nous avions une pause de 15 minutes Question. entre 9 et 10 heures. What about matin. the afternoon shift? Et qu'en est-il de l'après-midi? President, Mr. Witness, please le observe the microphone. Monsieur le témoin, veuillez observer l'allumage du micro. Witness, for the afternoon le shift, we started uh, from 1 p.m. and continue until 5 p.m. and we have 15 minutes break between 3 to 4 p.m. Entre 3 et Question. Were you required Question. to work a, a night shift? Et deviez-vous travailler le soir aussi? Answer. Réponse. When the work plan was uh, demanding, we also Lorsque had to work through the night. That is, uh, chargé, starting from 6 o'clock in the evening soir, and continued until 11 p.m. Question. Question. Who actually made decision on uh, this shift or the working hours or was a meeting held to uh, make a decision de on the shift hours? Pour des Answer. Réponse. The decision was made by chief of the La work site on behalf of the sector. Site All the chiefs at the work site were called to a Tous meeting and this instruction was relayed. Question. Were workers in your unit Question. happy with uh, this arrangement? Les de votre unité étaient-ils satisfaits de cette organisation? Answer. Réponse. Workers in my unit were not happy with these uh, working hours since uh, it was too, tire, too tiring for, for them, as we had uh, also sometimes uh, through the night. However, there was nothing we could do, soir, and we had to follow their instructions. Instruction. Question. If they were not Question. happy with it, Et did anyone si protest? And if there was no one who protested, si what was the reason? Did they dare not to protest, or did they not want to protest? Pas, ou parce qu'ils ne voulaient pas contester? Answer. Réponse. During the regime, as you might know it, nobody Sous dared to, régime, to protest. We had savez, to carry out the work plan. Il fallait réaliser le plan de travail. Question. What would happen Question. to a worker who dared to protest? Si un travailleur uh, Mr. President, this is a hypothetical question uh, supported by the President a moment ago. Uh, President, Deputy co president please uh, refresh your question. Uh, and as uh, question, the Chamber has just uh, reminded you, please try not to use any hypothetical question. De poser des questions suscitant des hypothèses. Deputy co president thank you, Mr. President. I move on. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Mr. Witness, uh, you Monsieur stated témoin, that uh, sometimes you were required to work between 6 to 10 p.m. and that you had to start working again next morning at 4 a.m. Vous vous le à 4 du matin. With this working hour arrangement, Avec ces horaires de travail, could workers actually sustain que les travailleurs, at this particular damn work site? arriver à 
à garder ce rythme et à And, uh, travailler au site de travail du barrage. Workers uh, could adhere to the uh, working hour arrangement, les but uh, mentally or emotionally de they could not. Mais, but uh, they had no choice. They had to il follow the guidelines. pas le choix. Ils devaient suivre les consignes. Question, you said they could uh, Question. adhere to the uh, work plan. Vous avez dit qu'ils arrivaient However, à respecter please, le plan de call, travail. However, please, whether they were healthy enough to do it or they were struggling santé, to do it uh, because they did not dare to protest. Est-ce qu'ils étaient en bonne santé ou est-ce qu'ils avaient du mal à le faire And Et, uh, so est-ce they were struggling to complete the work. Réponse. Nobody dared to protest. Mal à mener à bien le travail, personne n'osait protester, y compris moi-même, ni les membres de mon unité. Question. Question. When workers were Lorsque les up at 4 in the morning, travailleurs étaient réveillés à 4 heures du matin, how did it happen? comment cela se passait Comment on les réveillait When workers had to wake up and go to work at four o'clock in the morning, uh, was by means of a visual blow. Question. Question. And what happened to those who could not get up on time? Answer. Réponse. Everybody had to wake up and go, except those who were sick and could not get up. Question. Question. I refer to those workers who Question. had to Moi, work through the night and they were in deep sleep and couldn't hear a whistle blow. What happened to them if they could not hear a whistle blow? Council Council on Mr. President, this is the same ce, thing as a question that was prohibited by, uh, by you a moment ago que le cas as of its uh, hypothetical uh, nature. Il President, the objection is sustained, and Mr. National Deputy co prosecutor please rearrange your question again. And your question seems to be in a form of uh, hypothetical nature, as you keep saying, what if, what if? Again and again. Please uh, try to make your questions specific ah, si as we are trying to conclude this witness testimony possible. today. If you put this kind of question which leads to objections being raised, then it's a waste of time. Deputy Co Prosecutor, I move on, Mr. President, and thank you. Mr. Witness, now on the issue of work plan. What was the uh, daily work quota for each Quelles worker in your unit? Les quotas de travail dans votre unité. And so when we Réponse. were working on the crest of the dam, we were Tandis required to finish three cubic meters crête, of soil. Terminer, nous avions un quota à terminer qui était de trois mètres cubes. Question. Were workers able to meet the work quota that is three cubic meters of soil per day? Les travailleurs parvenaient-ils à venir à bout de ce quota de trois mètres cubes de terre par jour? Protection. Réponse. Answer. The workers who were digging Les the earth, qui creusaient some of them were able to meet the quota, but some were not. Pour certains While à I bout was quota, in charge of them. Non. There were only a few of workers who could not meet que uh, the pas work quota, but if uh, some of them quota. could not finish the, si uh, the very little quota, amount of earth that they had to do, we could, I could allow them to take rest. À raison de, petite petite de de terre, alors je pouvais quand même l'autoriser à se reposer. How many Question. of your workers 
could meet the work quota. Parmi les travailleurs, combien parvenaient à achever le quota? Answer. Réponse. Sixty percent of them were able to meet the work quota. Council. Sixty or seventy percent. Question: Soixante ou soixante-dix. Answer. I could not give you the specific percentage. Only sixty percent of them. Seuls soixante pour cent d'entre eux. Council. Mr. President. Avocat, Monsieur le Président. I would like to. Read P three. Last five two six five. Last five two six five. To refresh this witness memory in relation to some information he gave to investigator. Am I allowed to do so, Mr. President? Enquêteur, Monsieur le Président, m'y autorisez-vous? President, the chamber made a decision already. If it is the document concerning this, the witness concerned, you parties are allowed to use the document. And the chamber also informed parties that first they need to ask open questions, after which they can go into detail. Co-prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to read E three five two slash five two six five E on in Khmer zero zero. Interpreter could not follow the E on of the co-prosecutor. Read by the co-prosecutor. English E on zero zero twenty eight twenty three forty seven French zero zero four eight seven nine two five. Twenty nine twenty five. You stated that workers were required to dig the earth three three cubic meters of earth per day. And most of them could not meet the work quota. And only 30% of a worker could meet the work quota. When they did not meet the work quota, I did not make a report to the upper echelon. Ne le rapportiez pas à la hiérarchie. And as a result, the upper echelon did not know about this case. Il n'était donc l'échelon supérieur n'était donc pas au courant. Within my group, those who could not meet the work quota were not punished by me because I told lies in the report submitted to Anka. Please translation. Does this refresh your memory, Mr. Winners? Could you clarify for the chamber how many people could meet the work quota? Parvenaient ou venaient à bout de leur quota? Answer. Some workers who were weak could not meet the work quota. For those who were strong, they were able to finish the quota. And based on what you read, I never made a report concerning the fact that some of them could not meet the quota. There was another chief above me, and I was required by my chief to make a daily report to him concerning whether or not the workers could meet the work quota. Question: Could you tell the court who set out the work quota? And was the work quota set based on the experience that people could do the work? 
une expérience qui aurait confirmé que une telle somme de travail était réalisable par les chief travailleurs. Of the site at the district level le chef du site de construction au niveau du district avait demandé to set à tous les chefs d'établir Many uh, units or Il groups are within de the construction site. Il y a nombreux groupes sur le site de construction. Question: In the Question. document that I have Dans just read, you stated that uh, you did not make a report when the workers, some of your workers, were not able to meet the work quota. Le fait que certains President de vos travailleurs n'allaient pas respecter leur quota. La défense a la parole. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Je suis désolée, ce n'est pas une objection de ma part. Simplement, lorsque nous dépassons l'heure de pause qui avait été établie pour raison de santé pour Monsieur que s'entend, je demande toujours comment il se sent. Et là, nous arrivons à un moment où ça devient compliqué pour lui. Donc je tenais à informer la Chambre pour la pause qui est intervenir incessamment sous peu. Thank you, Council. Je vous remercie, Maître. I observed that as on some occasions there were requests made by the defense team Je for the accused that uh, they requested to go beyond 11.30 on some occasions. So what uh, the chamber is doing now is trying to finish the hearing of testimony of this witness uh, by 4 p.m. because uh, we are expecting that uh, this witness, uh, the hearing of this uh, witness could not finish by 4 p.m. And the witness confirmed and told the court that uh, he may be unavailable sometime in the future. Now, I would like to ask the position of parties whether we can resume our hearing at 1 o'clock this afternoon. It is now convenient time for lunch break, but I would like to seek position from parties whether or not we can resume our hearings at 1 o'clock in the afternoon today. We observe that uh, there have been many objections put by party, and on Monday we lost uh, you know, a rather long period of time for, the, uh, for what we have been doing. Euh, mon client m'indique qu'il euh, pourrait faire un effort pour être là à 13h. Je tiens à préciser que si parfois nous, euh, nous avons dépassé du côté euh, de la défense, nous prenons toujours euh, la précaution de demander quel est l'état de M. Kusampan par avant. Donc euh, c'est cette petite précision que je donnais. M. Kusampan me dit qu'il euh, pourrait faire cet effort aujourd'hui. Euh, après, je ne peux pas, je, je peux pas prévoir ce qui va se passer cet après-midi. President, thank you. Je vous remercie. This is just a try by the chamber, and uh, the chamber wishes to adhere to the uh, scheduling order of uh, the chamber. Thank you very much, uh, Council, for your information and it is now time for lunch break and it will resume at 1 p.m. Court officers, please find a proper place for this witness during the uh, lunch break and please invite uh, him back into the courtroom at 1 p.m. Security personnel, please bring uh, Mr. Kyusampon back to the waiting room downstairs and please invite him back into the courtroom at 1 p.m. The court is now in recess.